<laughs> you see, the, uh, there's like a screenshot of it. He, uh, they retweeted Slasher talking about G. Here is like uh, streams live playing some scrims with the new G, uh, gentleman's gentleman's agreement rule set. Yeah, not 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 let no CWL rule yeah, set. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was, it was like, like GA. Yeah, the GA pretty much. And and there's like Call of Duty retweeted, and I thought it was pretty funny. But. So t tell us what the GA is, the gen gentleman's agreement, because yeah. obviously some people that don't follow Call of Duty that closely so watch this and listen. to CWL it. came out with a uh, set of rules. Uh, a rule set that was by our standards and by pretty much anyone who plays the game competitively, not competitive. Okay. Um, Explain that a little bit more. Like, what do you mean? Like, for example, I, for example, barbed wire, uh, reactor core, and the fact that you get barbed wire so fast, uh, reactor core going through walls. You can literally, like, like Nuketown, for example, if you go top window and you pop your reactor core, anyone in the house just gets fried. They're dead. No matter what. And so that's a huge issue. Like, like one, it's annoying in pubs. Yeah. Two, in competitive, like, say it's uh, two, 240 to 249. You pop your, or not, 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 maybe like 245 to 249. You pop your reactor core, you win no matter what. Yeah. Just one, one V5, win the game. Mm -hmm. um, or, well, you got to do it behind a wall, but still. Yeah. Um, there's that. There's the nine bang, which is a flashbang times what, nine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's the one that says if you if I get hit with a, a flashbang, can you just send me to the lobby immediately yep. instead of yeah, like, just, waiting for me to get yeah, killed? Yeah, just you might as well just wait to die, pretty yeah. much. Um, so what is what, GA? Uh, the gentleman's agreement, the GA, is pretty much just us agreeing to uh, play with their own rules, pretty much, or like we agree to not use a reactor core. We agree yep. to not use things that are literally game breaking. Um, and I agree they at some points they get they go overboard. But right now there's there's a lot of like I would say there's a there's people trying to get rid of everything and then yeah. there's people trying to keep as much as possible. Yeah. Um I'm trying to keep as much as possible just just for the fact that like I know specialists and I know equipment is very entertaining. Yep. To viewers. Like and at the end of at the end of the day, viewers are everything. They determine Pretty much everything. Everything. Yeah. yeah. If if this is to uh, succeed or fail, it's because of the viewers. Right. Um, and if we don't put on a show, then the viewers aren't going to be happy. So pretty much, I don't I don't want the game to be dubbed down to a point where it was in World War II, where it was just like everything that was considered cheap or like fun to use just out. Um, let me try to think. What was? No, the reason the reason that uh. So, so the reason that I brought that up is because I wanted to know about, you know, are there now G GAs within GAs? You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, are, no. Are, are people it's, taking it that far to where they're like... It goes, I mean, it goes like two ways. It's like pretty much it goes to a vote. Mm -hmm. um, and then, if you know, if you're on the losing side, you lose a vote. You got to use their rule set. Or there's people who go, we're using this no matter what. We don't care. Yeah. And then if that happens... And people like don't abide by that. Yeah. Then they're like, okay, we're playing with everything. Mm -hmm. So it's a very like, like we're on like the edge of a cliff. Like if one team decides to not you or they want to use something and everyone else wants it gone, then pretty much we might as well we might as well just all jump off and we're all playing standard rule set barbed wire guardians, uh, <laughs> just the, reactor cores. Yeah, it's a mess. Yeah, so it's pretty much like everyone's got to come to their senses and sort of agree or pretty much we're we're playing the uh crim what happens if you guys are in the grand finals yeah of the biggest tournament of the year yeah well we don't have it but you know whatever yeah and the other team says 800 grand is 800 fucking grand yeah. fuck these dudes what happens well, i'm pretty sure last point? year um last year the main thing was the m1 uh, there's a lot of teams that could just be like, yeah, you know what? Uh, we we want to keep this or we want to get rid of this. And if you guys don't agree, we'll just go back to default rule set and use M1. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure teams, at least at, at least the first couple lands of the year, I'm pretty sure ARs made M1 classes. Yeah, just like just in case. Uh, for this game, there's so many so many things that are in the game. Uh, like one, w the biggest thing to me, uh, which I think is absurdly dumb um is the the equipment charge you charge your specialist faster you charge your equipment faster uh -huh. and it just it, it messes with all timings 
of, of everything, of every single specialist uh, or the specialist that you're using. And I think timing is, is a lot to do with, uh, you know, judging when the other team has a specialist. So when they're using that, it messes with that timing. There's no way to tell. Yeah. There's literally no way to tell. But uh, so something that, uh, so, so an example of a GA is like, we're talking about the grappling hook in S&D. Right. Um, and pretty much it's not really an issue in respawn, but in S&D, uh, the whole argument was that it throws off timings. So you could get like Seaside, for example, if you ran through mid map and then grappled to like front orange, yeah. Uh, you could get there before the team even yeah. you, you even got to their their side of the map. Yeah, and uh, I mean you can you can hear it, but the whole problem is is that if you use it at the beginning, like right when you spawn, yeah, they can't hear it. Yeah, of course. So and, and and that's like a thirty foot gap that you create. That's there's no way for the enemy team to tell. So that's that's pretty much why like we're not playing with grapple on SND. SND. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. That makes a lot so, of sense. So, yeah. So it's like like you get what I'm saying. Like the and the CWL or whoever made the rule sets have not they they haven't played like e even like a, what two weeks ago three weeks ago we were not playing at this level yet the game's constantly evolving right and the rule sets not mm -hmm. so that's why this is like needed yeah now is it every year they they bring pros out I guess to to try to sort of help with the yeah. rule set it has has it's there it's more to figure out maps not rule set. It's yeah. It's more to figure out like map. Like, is this a good map? Are these spawns good? Um, does this map and game mode work in combination? Yeah. Um, the rules. I mean, we don't like. We never really test like nit like nitpick the, uh, you know, has, like the timing for specialists or yeah. the timing for equipment charges and all that stuff. Um, I mean, it's 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 like the first time playing the game. It's not we haven't even played in pubs yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. When you go straight from from no pubs into a match, you don't even know the maps when they're doing this. So, do you think whitelisting all the pro players, or at least the top sixteen teams? Yeah. Uh, do you think that you know ne next year, for example, yeah. right? Uh, the, the game's about to come out. Yeah. It, 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 as they have the beta, do you think that everybody should have a white list of what it is? Obviously, the thing is, it's like. The, the you know I would say that 99 I would say that hundred percent of all top 16 yeah. pro players would ab abide by the NDA and the embargoes and all of that and yeah. then just just do their their uh, their thing I don't think that there'd be any yeah. leaks it's well it's just a matter of like unfair competition just having the game early yeah um unfair, but it's the top 16 teams yeah but then ha that's not everyone from 17 through 32 is going to complain Fine. top 32 team all 32 teams get it I mean, it's just again, anyone anyone outside those top thirty two teams is going to complain. Anyone outside of those thirty two fucking teams, S and D tournaments, I guess. So well, you know, you know more than me. I'm just trying to figure just, out. It's much. just there's there's money on the line. So there's, and the thing is, it, it, they're in an awkward spot because you can't really invite entertainers to test a no, like of course a pro so. no, I'm, game. no, I'm talking about yeah. literally only pro players invited to yeah. these things yeah well it's just it's the same case like once once the money tournaments start coming out i mean we probably me seth tj and and dashy we probably won like three grand off off uh, off s d tournaments just in like in, uh, over the course of two weeks yeah the thing is everyone everyone who's not on that white list is yeah. just going to complain and yeah. it's not going to be fair and i think activision knows that so yeah but it is what it is. And I, yeah. if, if I'm top, well, if I'm 32 and and below, yeah, I'm just gonna have to deal with the fact that look, yeah. I should have been better. And and although they're gonna be better, I mean, how much? Well, how much well, better can you get by playing the game? Yeah. You know, two weeks, three weeks before anybody well, else well, to well, get well, a, well, a positive rule set for the CWL. Let me say this. So I think um, one, you can't really tell how the game is is like gonna play out because literally in the first two weeks when we started doing five v five practice. Every single like it, the game changed every twenty four hours. Like one, we didn't even know Molly's were OP until after we're like, yo, no, no double equipment because it's it's just charging so fast, mm -hmm. and because stuns are broken. Yeah, stuns are or attack mass was broken. Um, so we didn't even know that Molly's were OP until some one I think it was Clay started using it, and then everyone started trying it out, and we're like, we're all like, oh my god, because you don't you don't ever see them in pubs. It's to me, it's funny that that we're playing a game or we're using like double suns, all this stuff, um, when it, they're not used in pubs at all. The only time people use like stuns are nine bangs. 
mm -hmm. in pubs. No one throws on a stun in a pub. Yeah. Um, it's very rare, but I just think it's interesting that the game at, at the least, at least the first like month is constantly changing to the point where the only thing CWL can do is announce like a, a version 1.2 rule set, a version 1.3 rule set, sort of like what they did in Halo 3, uh, what MLG did in Halo 3. And I think that that would help a lot. I think that that's, that's the direction they need to go. No, none of us want to do the GAs. But when you announce a rule set a week into the game, and now we're, what, a month into the game, there's no update to it. Yeah. The only update was that uh, Activision or, Tre no, Treyarch, um, they changed, like, equipment within the CWO rule set. Uh, like, so Barbar -bar doesn't actually hurt you anymore. Guardian, like, forget what it is. Does It doesn't hurt you either. Just, like, stuff like that. And I think that... At the end of the day, like that stuff, no one wants to use it. Yeah, no one wants to use it to the point where, like, like I'm, I'm convinced. Even if, if there was, if we did use that, that people would still stray away from like some of those specialists. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I just think everyone wants to make the game more entertaining to watch to play. Uh, and I think that you know what they're trying to force upon us to play is is not it. Yeah.